So if you were watching the last video, you will have seen me embed a Google document and a Google spreadsheet directly into Firefly using its special Google Doc feature. Uh, I made both of those documents read-only so students could view the documents either on Firefly or uh, they could open them in Google Doc, but they couldn't edit them, they couldn't make any changes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing, but this time allow students the opportunity to edit the documents either directly in Firefly or on Google Docs, even if they don't have an account. Well, you can see from the screen that I'm ready to go. I've got my title here. So let's click on Edit Page and just press Enter to go down a bit. And as before, I click on More, move all the way down to Google Doc in the bottom left corner. It asks me to select a document, so I click on Google Doc. And of course, I've got my uh, account already open. I don't need to open it. And I think I'm going to choose this document, this poster. Click on it and then click Select. And then this time, rather than have it read only, I'm going to choose the permission that allows students to edit. I'm happy with these features here because I can open it in Google Documents if I want to open it for a bigger picture. Click the Done button and the document will appear here. And you can see that the document has got the editing features here. They are highlighted, they're not greyed out, but of course they would be because I'm actually working with the link to my document. So what does it look like to the student? Well, if I click Done, just to save those changes, and I go to a different browser, Safari, and let me just refresh this so you can see the page opening. So I'm now opening it as though I was a student. I don't have a link to uh, Google. I don't have a Google Drive account. And you can see, if I go down to the bottom, there it is there. And I can click on here and I can make changes actually in the document. But if I want to, I could click on Open in Google Docs. And this will open in Google Docs. And you can see, look, that I haven't got a Google account. It's asked me to sign in. But if I just scroll down and just click, for example, on here and highlight this, you can see that I can make changes. I've got access to the uh, styles and all the other features in the menu bar to make those changes. And because I can edit this document, I can also make comments too. So I could actually explain what changes I have made. And again, those changes are anonymous. And because this is Google, any changes are automatically saved. I don't need to press the Save button. And those changes will be reflected in the Google Drive document that's my own, but also will be visible on Firefly. So you can see those changes taking place if you refresh the page. So that's how to add in and embed a Google document. What about a Google spreadsheet? Well, it's pretty much the same thing as before. Let's click on Edit Page, back to where I was, scroll down to the bottom, click on the space, and again click on More, because we want to go to that Google Doc feature at the bottom left corner, select it, select our Google document, and this time we want to go to the Spreadsheet section, and I think I'm going to choose, oh gosh, uh, this one here, because we've done that one before, and click Select. And this time I'm going to select the edit feature and click done. And hopefully here comes the Google document. It appears down at the bottom. Let's just scroll down. There it is there. All ready to go. Let's click done. And let's go over to my Safari document. And let's go back to the Firefly. Remember, this is me going in to uh, Firefly uh, as though I was a student without a Google Drive account. So let's just reload that page. Then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And hopefully you should see my document. There it is there. And you can see I can do some editing on it. There are the editing features. You see, I can select them. And if I click Open in Google Docs, I can now open it in Google Docs, even though I don't have an account. And I can go and make some changes to it here. So if I just click on Fill Color, 
Let's just change a couple of these colors here just to show you that a bluish color. And again, all these changes are automatically saved in Google Drive and will also appear directly into Firefly because it's embedded. Let me just go back into Google Documents and you can see the changes automatically appear there too. So that's how to embed both a Google document and a Google spreadsheet directly into Firefly using its features and then to set the permissions to edit to allow other users to make changes to your documents either in Firefly or even if they don't have an account to open it up in Google Docs and make those changes and remember because you're editing they can also add comments into hope you'll agree with me those are hugely powerful features